हेलो हेलो टू ऑल लर्नर्स टुडे आई कुशा सिंह असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सोशल वर्क उत्तराखंड ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन टू ग्रुप वर्क एज वी नो मैन इज अ सोशल एनिमल वी कैन नॉट सर्वाइव अलोन वी नीड ग्रुप्स फैमिलीज कम्युनिटी एंड सोसाइटी ओवरऑल फॉर आर लर्निंग प्रोसेस इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ ग्रोइंग अप वी सोशलाइज विद आर फैमिलीज वी सोशलाइज विद आर पीयर ग्रुप we socialize with our neighborhood and the larger community as well as we grow in our life we also learn a lot of things about the society from from our socialization process so group life is basic to human life a social group is a collection of human beings who enter into a social relationship with one another as we enter into a social relationship we involve certain mutual goals and mutual interest there are lot of uh, give and take relationships also in this uh, particular group a social group is a collection of human beings who enter into a social relationship with one another as we enter into social relationship there is lot of group give there is lot of give and take in the relationship we involve in mutual goals and mutual interest as a group we can understand the group to be a collection of individuals who are psychologically interacting with each other who have common goals who are interacting with each other and they have certain group norms so through this we understand what is actually a social group group work is focused around group as a social worker we have to emphasize on the intellectual social and emotional growth of our client of our group as a group uh, social worker we have to focus on the group and not just on one particular individual this is a method of social work practice by which individuals are served within and through the group you know as uh, when you are working in a setup when you are working in a group work setup especially you are not uh, focusing on one particular person there is not one client that we do in case work but in group work the person is not just the individual who is suffering from certain problems that person is not just served uh, with with uh, with the help of the social worker but also within the group within the uh, within their group members within their uh, group they get to learn a new things and that is how group work is very important for social work practice group work is a conscious attempt to help people uh, become more effective in the group situations and to find common interests and mutual satisfaction in doing so as now we can understand what social group work is therefore it plays a very vital role in the all round development of an individual so here we can see that the person the individual is not just being uh, affected by the social worker but also as we discuss the person the individual also gets affected by the group activities so therefore social group work not just focuses on an individual it contributes it contributes to the better functioning of the community and the society as a whole social group work as we know has been uh, has a history from a very long time uh, we uh, are very famous uh, social worker konopka in 1963 has described social group work as a method of social work which helps individual to enhance their social functioning through purposeful group experiences and to cope more effectively with their personal group and community problems uh, in the process of uh, social group work we also have tracker who describes social group work as an important for sharing knowledge experiences within the group which helps the workers guide their work in social activities and get opportunities for fulfilling their needs and demands while gaining experience to ensure community development so now dear learners i would like to explain you about the benefits of group work now we have understood about group work we have understood about group we have also uh, tried to understand how uh, international uh, social workers look at uh, group work so now we will talk about benefits of group work so group work enables the members to participate freely and effectively in varying situations group work provides a training ground for a democratic life so when a person when there are people involved in the group uh, uh, functions in a particular manner and there are people who have their own voice 
people will demand their own voice they will have certain uh, needs they will have certain uh, roles and responsibility so when we are in a group what we, we practice we practice a democratic life uh, and it also helps the person dealing with a social problem to understand how to express themselves in a positive way here we don't have to take criticism in a negative way criticism is taken in a way to construct our own self group work also inculcates leadership qualities as in a group there are a lot of people who work towards the aim towards the goal in this the process in this process of group work we inculcate leadership qualities there are many people there are many uh, we can experience in our uh, social work practices in our daily life there are many self help groups there are many uh, groups where uh, ladies of a village 10 ladies in one village form a self help groups so amongst them only there will be one person who will be leading the Uh, self help group uh, activities right so in it inculcates from a very normal person from a very normal day to day life uh, we inculcate leadership qualities through group work group work also prepares people for social change as we just discuss one example from self help groups when we work in a group we have a voice when we work in a group we have a, a unity and with unity we can break many form of social taboos many form of social taboos therefore social group work prepares people for social change in the process of group work we will now talk about the role of social group worker as a social worker what is your role in group work so uh, i would like to explain here that the group uh, that the group worker is primary a helping person rather than a group leader this person is not a group leader he is there to influence indirectly rather than directly he is not a boss he or she is not a boss who has a certain say or a teacher you know who needs a bet who has a better experience this person is just an enabler so social group work is not an expert in the subject matter of the group rather this person is just an influence indirect right the social group worker works with the group as it at its own pace and provides a methodological help as and when required this person will not be forcing the group to function in some way but rather than the person this social uh, group worker will only provide the group with certain help the group worker is an enabler as an enabler the group worker is uh, present with the group as a helper but not as a boss just that i just explained you uh, there are a lot of things that a group rather needs from the uh, group worker so here the group worker is just an enabler Uh, this person can be an advocate also it is an active and directive role you know as a social worker in which the worker advocates for the group uh, so uh, we have seen many examples as an advocate so how social workers work uh, then the social group worker is also a mediator how we can say the mediator as a group social worker is often a link between the group members also so we are a mediator within the group members social worker is a mediator between the group and the community between the group and the agency and this person is also a mediator worker helps uh, to resolve the disputes okay so therefore not just dispute within the group disputes within the group and the society group and the agency group and the our larger uh, larger society so uh, this person solves the disputes conflicts uh it helps in uh, opposing points of the view uh within the group or between the members and the other outsiders uh, of the group this person is also an educator a facilitator and most importantly a social group worker should not be a boss as i just explained this is we are just there to help our help should be so good that we become redundant after a certain point of time so from this class i hope you can understand the basic understanding of group work and the role of social group worker thank you